Meatball Molly gets absolutely smoked by Starlienko the other night at UFC London. She was the co-main event, which I found insulting. I watched both the prelims and the main event, and it was actually embarrassing. I made a video probably a year ago, which jumped up by like 4,000 views since yesterday, which was quite interesting. And that actually directed me to make this video because I actually don't care about Molly McCann or Paddy Pimlet anymore. They're old news. They're embarrassing. Paddy Pimlet is gone. He knows it. He's changing things up. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But before we do, we're going to get to Molly McCann because it was actually insulting. And people say, why do you do these videos? You're attacking someone who's out there chasing their dream. I don't have a problem with that. Fair play to Molly. I don't have a personal problem with Molly. Yes, she's excruciatingly annoying and I can't look at her for more than 10 seconds without pulling my eyeballs out. But nothing personal. She's been put in a position where she was supposed to succeed for some sort of virtuous reason. She fits all the bills. She's a scumbag. She can barely speak. She eats food disgustingly. She's part of the LGBTQ and she goes after conservative politicians. <laughs> Shut up, bitch! It fits the bill in terms of being a shill and being an NPC, so you can see where it is. Also, I think that the UFC and the American audience, not to diminish their views on Molly, but I also think that there's something that was missed, and I mentioned this in the video that I made a year ago. I think the fact that Americans see these British people drinking beer and pretty much like spitting and fighting and arguing with the opposition to Molly and Paddy when the bouts are in England, they find some sort of entertainment value in that. Barstool Sports signs are up to sponsorships. There's Rolex watches, rolling in from some pathetic rapper whoever he is and Dana sees this and he thinks okay maybe we're onto something here maybe this is another Conor McGregor situation it's not I said this a year ago and it was never going to be that sort of a situation first reason is they just ain't that good it's as simple as that we saw Paddy being exposed in his last fight and we saw Molly getting exposed. They fed her Storylenko hoping that she would win, hoping that she would throw some big right hand and she would get the win and the London crowd would clap like seals. <coughs> it didn't happen. The opposite happened and it was like tumbleweed in the arena. I heard some commentators say, she'll come back stronger. And I'm like, oh my God. And then you have articles like this. Has Molly McCann been released from the UFC? I don't know. Has she been released from the UFC? If she was to be released and that was breaking news, would you be surprised? No. Would you be happy? Yes. Because the majority of people online and in general do not like Molly McCann. Even down to her walkout, it's excruciatingly painful. Her face is annoying. When she gets in the ring, she's annoying. If she wins a fight, Forget about it. She's unbelievably annoying. And people say, why do you attack her? Why do you make it personal? You're just a hater looking for clout. You go in there and do it. And it's like, dude, listen, stop. She's been put in this position by Dana White and we're being told to shut her mouth. Don't talk about it because if you do, you're just a hater and it doesn't work. And it doesn't work across the board because we see this in every facet of society now. We see it in movies. We see it in TV shows. You don't like Last of Us? Oh, well, you're a racist and you're a homophobe. You don't like the virtuous new movies like Indiana Jones where he doesn't get to do anything but some young chick runs around and makes a fool out of him and he has to follow her like a little lap dog. You don't like that? Oh, well. And we can see that people are actually showing their disappointment improvement with their wallets with their money they're not going to see this trash they're not tuning into bullshit anymore and the same thing will happen because if you look across the board we have massive mma channels talking about molly mccann talking about the fact that every post that she shows up in that's put out there by the ufc gets absolutely destroyed by fans people are showing that they disapprove of her and they're also showing that they disapprove of being gaslit by dana and the mainstream media that surround it, talking about her like she's going to come back from this or something, like she's got some improvements to do. She said that she trained intensely for the last six months to maneuver out of an armbar because she knew that Story Lingo was going to come at her with that. I see better jujitsu in the under 10s class on a Saturday morning. That's been honest with you. So I don't know where the improvement was, but I'll tell you one thing, even in the build up to this, she was excruciatingly annoying. So it is what it is. I couldn't care less about Molly losing this fight or her dreams to become a champion. It's not about that. This is a middle finger to the UFC in general. Stop trying to orchestrate the fan base into liking shit that they don't like. It's as simple as that. And stop demonizing people that call it out. Like I did a year ago. 60,000 views in a Molly McCann video. And I would say there's probably 5,000 hateful comments. Some death threats. 
People wanted me dead for what I was saying about Molly McCann. So where are we a year later? Now all of a sudden people are catching up and they're all throwing hate at her as well. And all of a sudden, eh, she's not that popular anymore. Is she going to get cut? We'll see. I don't know if it was just me, but I didn't see much of a connection between her and Patty this week. I didn't see much of a connection when she made the walk to the octagon. She was standing 10 feet from him. There was no acknowledgement. There was no embrace. The bond seems to be breaking somewhat. And I think that is actually premeditated from Patty Pimlet. He knows that after the Jared Gordon fight that he his star is starting to dissipate as well. He ain't stupid. He's got a massive platform behind him. He's built the YouTube channel to over a million subs, I believe. He's got sponsorship deals. This dude is legit. He's clever. Fair play to him nothing against him for that. I have a problem with the UFC orchestrating opinions of the man. That's pretty much it. Here's an interesting note in terms of how aware Paddy is that he is on the decline. There's a distance put between him and Molly, especially this week on her fight week. There doesn't seem to be that correlation anymore. It seems to be gone. That's a good move from Paddy Pimlet. All of a sudden he's coming out in the media telling them that he's not going to balloon up anymore with cheeseburgers and pizzas after a fight that is not healthy. I said that last year I was called a hater. Remember that? So you can see that he's altering course. Of course he has slip-ups. He's talking about Illitoporia. That ship has sailed. You shouldn't even be in the same breath as a conversation like that. You're talking about appearing on The Ultimate Fighter with people of that standard. Again, you're a little bit above your station there, man. Pull it back a little bit. It's embarrassing. But I think he knows. I think he's aware. And I think that he's altering course. Because if we watch this little clip here, he's asked about a possible title shot. And his answer is very, very, very revealing and honest and fair play to him for it. Realistically, with your pull, how many fights away do you reckon you are from a, from a title fight? Glad I'm miles away from a title fight, lad. After my last performance, I don't even deserve to talk about a belt. So, good few fights, lad, know what I mean? I'm not even thinking about that at the minute. Thinking about... Putting, putting a few wrongs right in my next fight, lad. So I thought that was a decent and an honest answer from Paddy Pimlet. And as I said, there was some slip-ups in this interview where he was talking outlandishly about fights with Illitaporia and people like that. And from the word go, Paddy always has potential. 100% he's a better fighter than Molly is. With the right training, with the right mindset, you can see here that he's modestly backstepping. That's fine. Let's see what he does. I know there's a lot of people coming after him for the length of time that he has been out of the octagon. But maybe he's getting himself straightened up in the head. Maybe he's altering course and maybe he'll come back and he'll do very well. And best wishes to him. Doesn't change the fact that he's extremely annoying. Doesn't change the fact that if he does get chained in his next fight, I will have a little muffin and a cup of tea in celebration. And it doesn't change what he has said in the past. So look, it is what it is. Going back to Molly, is she cut? Should she be cut? Not for me to decide. But I'll tell you one thing. If we get to the situation where she's on a main event card, then there'll be questions that must be asked. Then people's voices that have been previously beaten down and trodden upon, like myself for calling out what she was a year ago, then maybe these opinions will see the light of day and people might actually look at it and go, you know what, you were right. Who knows? Let me know your thoughts down below. Cheers.